Hey, this is Steve with RV Decycle coming to you from Winnebago's Grand National Rally. If you have a ProMaster camper van, I'm going to show you something you need to have. You got to have. You must have. So stay tuned. actually are at the Grand National. Pointed over there by the Winnie Bees. And that's where the bees gather. And here's where all the bees are. And the wind is blowing a little bit, so it sure does help. So what we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna put something right here on this guy that is gonna eliminate the need for the cable. In fact, we're told that Winnebago is gonna be putting this on all of their vans from here on out instead of relying on the little cable that is designed to keep the door from flying all the way open and around and breaking itself and other things. This is the Summit Products rear door uh, hinge rotation limiter. It stops the door from rotating over 110 degrees. It comes with some small fasteners, 5 16 nuts. Remove the hardware, put them in your hand. We're gonna open the door. Set the door at about the 90 degree indentation. Put the long-legged part in from the back side. Okay. Ready? Then the short-legged part from the front side. Kind of line up the holes. Stick the small machine screw through. Start your little nylock nut. And then repeat repeat with the bottom fastener get your little nylock nut in place and just cinch them up that's it so there's no need to use any kind of loctite on this right nope, because it has a nylon Yep, it's, it's a nylock nut, it'll stay tight. Yep. Yep. It's all stainless and aluminum. They won't corrode, so. And how tight does someone need to make these when they, if they're gonna do this themselves? There really isn't a torque specification for a nylock nut, so we just like to have the part cinched up so there's no space between the fasteners. Okay, so. all right. And okay. does it matter which side the small piece goes on, the left or the right, when you have it? it the like small here, piece it has right to go side. against the door side. There's okay. a difference in the depth of the cut. Right. And then the control arm down below, or the linkage down below, has a little indent that, that'll fit around that notch. Okay. In. Okay. All right. Great. And we put two on the passenger side because... The passenger side door is the door you open first. Yep. And that provides a, a fairly good wind block for the driver's side door. Okay. So just to save parts and... You don't really need to on the driver's door. Right. It's just providing a rotational stop then at that point. Then you can get rid of the cables that you have on the doors or the hinges. Yep. All right. Super. Well done. Well, that's it for now. I hope you got something useful out of this video. I want to extend a special thanks to Brad from Summit Products for doing the install. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you got anything out of this video. And heck, if you didn't, you can give us a thumbs up as well. The more thumbs up, the more likes the video gets, the higher it goes in the search engine and the easier it is for other people to find it. And I think that there will be other people looking for this particular video because there are a lot of Ram Pro Master owners out there who will be wanting to put this product on their van. Thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you again.